good morning and thank you so much for watching our not so spooky Halloween special live from Dallas Fort Worth. I am Tuan the Dunn. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. I'm your bestie, Britt. What's going on, y'all, boys? Your boy, Grunt to the Low. Good morning, y'all. It's Britt Low. And we are live inside of the Don's Den. It is a hip hop pop culture commentary block party as you see it's four of us we bring it to you each and every saturday morning let's get this show right on the road it's been a crazy week if i must say lil wayne is back in the news again and you know we lay the hot topics here bestie what are your thoughts on this foolishness this morning now you guys know i love lil wayne i mean he typically could not do much wrong in my eyes because you know i don't hold him to such a high standard other than music but this week he just went too far and i'm not even being funny it's just one of those things where I'm just so tired of everybody. At this point, everything that everybody's doing other than voting is pointless. Like between Lil Wayne, Fiddy, Kanye. Have y'all seen the foolishness that Kanye West was talking about earlier this week as well? We shouldn't have to have a special box, a special month. Because also what they show in Black, Black History Month is us getting hosed down, reminding us that we were slaves. Like what if we had, remember when I cheated on you month? We need that kind of month. So, a lot of people think this man like a genius or something, man. A lot of people. Um, a lot of people yeah. minus four. <laughs> None of us here don't think that shit about no damn Kanye no, West. Exactly. There's people out here, and you're going to get them really after this, and people going to be on there saying Kanye this and Kanye this, and he for the people. Just like he said, slavery was a choice. Like, you can spin that and make that make sense, but that shit don't make no sense. So earlier this week, Tokyo Vanity, basically the internet called her out saying, you know, a comment she made earlier in the week, they were upset with the way she said it. So take a look at this. Like, I'm really not understanding what a problem coming in there. So I'm gonna make this little video real quick. See, because when, when I'm writing, I need y'all to read to comprehend, not read to respond. The problem is not that y'all want to take pictures of y'all clients. The problem is that Instagram got y'all so fucked up that y'all hoes really think that it's a requirement for somebody to let you take a picture Oh, like it's a man, it's mandatory that somebody gotta let you take a picture. Like the business exchanges when they, after you've done your service, they give you their money. Don't nobody have to let you take no picture of nothing. Like y'all hoes get y'all followers up or a few people start fucking with y'all and y'all bitches really start tripping. Like what part y'all not understanding? Like you post the book models and do professional shoots and put into the marketing of your brand to further your brand. Your clients who pay you do not have to be unpaid models for you. You both. You think as a paying customer, the person that's doing your hair, the person that's doing your haircut deserves to take a picture of you and have to show it, you know, off for their brand or you can deny it. Basically. Absolutely not. If I'm spending my mm -hmm. money, I have the, I have the right to say yes or no. And sometimes those girls that be doing those they be looking so forced and so sad spinning around in a chair. It's kind of abuse, if you ask me. They look so sad, and it just be the agony for me. But, I mean, it's it's my choice. I would say no. It's abusive. Seriously, like, I, I, I don't. I don't owe anybody any favor. Like, my hair girl, she asks, can she take a picture? I just don't hear the, Ch -ch -ch. wait a minute, girl. What, what yeah, like, that? what are you doing? Hey, no, don't do that to me. Yeah, so like if you have a t-shirt line or if you're selling whatever and I go out and buy it, don't say, hey, Tuan, post this up for me and tag me. Mm -hmm. No, because then, but if you gave me a t-shirt or if you gave me some cologne or, you know, the stuff that I like, and then you say, hey, make sure you let the people know where you got it from, that's a totally different story. Totally different. Uh, it's touchy. Really? <laughs> no. Jeff cuts my hair in Fort Lauderdale. If Jeff wanted to take a picture of me, he would have to ask. And I have the right to say yes or no. And if he gets mad if I say no, that's his problem. Because at the end of the day, I'm paying him to cut my hair. I'm not paying him. I'm not paying him to advertise me that he cuts my hair, if that makes any sense. Yeah. I get what you're saying, man. Yeah. But if I say I yeah, saying, that's me. That's just out of love. And Jeff know that it is love. He know the vibes. I'm just saying. Ooh, y'all disagreeing. What's going on? I think it's more of a marketing uh, thing. And I just think it's more of a showing love. If you're going to that person to get something done you want to you know separate the barrier of where you're getting what you need done you paid for that but then also this person is trying to stay in business this person also is trying to grow a business right but i, I am as the paying customer am not required to 
I'm not requ- like I think Brittany's question was, are you required to take my picture? No, you're but, not required. Yeah. You're not required. But morally, morally, you should want to show love. Yeah, and that's my whole thing about it. Like, I mean, that's your dog. You, you trust him enough to cut your head out. You, you might, you know, you should want to help him promote his shit. I mean, nah, he should ask you. Absolutely. Yeah, I was going to say, there's no entitlement to that. Yeah, and you're not obligated to do it. And please start wiping these niggas' foreheads off with that white chalk before you take these pictures. <laughs> Wipe that shit off, nigga. Shit looking like an old chalkboard. Does that <laughs> signify like I just got to take like I don't even yeah. blame the barbers. I blame the dudes because the barbers spray the alcohol. The shit's supposed to come off. I think they want to keep it. But if you got to do all that to drum to cut my shit right, then you ain't you can't cut my shit right. So I mean, but you know, to each his own. And the lights is bright, and I look like Mike in a Tyson fight. Nah. <laughs> All right, so it's been a crazy week, but not as far for sports. Uh, we got the Lakers and the Dodgers, who actually just won both championships, and uh, they're both in LA. They hey. want to turn up, but we have the issue with the coronavirus. Um, my question to you is: I don't know if it's time yet, but do you think they should be able to turn up? I think they should be able to turn up. Yeah, hey, safely. You know, maybe have everybody you know super far back or. And they cause or something like that or some some version of it or maybe on you know zoom that thing like we're doing right now. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> At this point, everybody has been everywhere. I hate to say it, but it's real and we've all been exposed. But thankfully, we've all been in the clear. I haven't had yeah. it. Nah, me neither. Nothing. It better not bring it neither. <laughs> Don't come near me. But no. honestly, I don't think that they should. I think they should just wait it out. I know this is a very big year for both of them, especially the Lakers, given what happened and how it all played out. So I know mm-hmm. they're ready to celebrate and really ready to put on for Kobe. But, I mean, we just got to think smart and, and just be smart, especially in the times that we're in. So I don't think it's a good idea. But I know they're ready to celebrate. Uh, maybe they should do something like at the arena or something. And so, you know, have only like a pep rally or something like oh, that. Or some televised special where they can all come together or something. ABC, yeah. they got the money. Put it together, ABC. I like the arena. I like the arena idea. All of them sign disclaimers and just go in the arena amongst each other. Well, since I was talking shit last week about the boy T.I. and the Versus uh, this week, uh, Versus announced that him and Jeezy going to go at it at the Versus. Yeah. This is a tough one. I don't know. I was I'm sitting on the sidelines on this one. Y'all can talk about it. Y'all can talk about it. I'm good. Mm-hmm. I was talking trash about him going with, going to shoot the fade with Bust a Bus, but <laughs> watch this one. I was going to I'm watching this one. I love Jeezy so much. Oh, my God. Oh, Jeezy. I don't need to be around nobody when I watch this, though, because I might get fined. <laughs> it's about <laughs> trapping. Yeah, I might get fined. Hey, hey. I'm telling you, bitch. I don't know. This was going to be a really good one because Jeezy mm-hmm. is certified streetwise and commercial wise. And this nigga T.I., this nigga did a versus already versus himself. So I don't even know what to think at this point. That's why I'm like, I'm just going to sit back and see how it all play out. I just know it's going to be a vibe. Bruh, you ever rolled to the classic mm. on a Jeezy album or a T.I. album? If you can wait between 05 and, between 05 and 07, T.I. and Jeezy is your entire teenage years. I don't give a fuck what nobody says. My face name used to say her young, her young Jeezy and became a thug. Swear to God. <laughs> I used to always say I was like Paris Hilton and young Jeezy mixed together. If anybody, if any of y'all, y'all can write it down. If any of y'all was on my MySpace, you definitely know that I love Jeezy. He used to be my song. That was my name. Her young Jeezy and became a thug. I used to be called Miss Jeezy. I love him. Oh my God, I'm about to cry. <laughs> Got to grow up. It all goes down Thursday, November 19th at 8 p.m. on Versus IG Live or wherever they stream the damn show. I'm excited about it. Again, I'm not really casting a vote because it's just going to be a vibe. I, I just like think it's going to be good much. for the culture. By that time, we'll know who our president is. And if mm. it's Joe Biden, turn that. That Jeezy, my president is black because Obama gonna be in that White House some kind of way. Just saying. <laughs> Obama gonna be pouring Hennessy. Come on, Joe. Come get your cup, Joe. Get this hand. Uh, oh, yeah. Get him fast enough. 
we're in the spirit of Halloween, and I think we can all agree it's just another day in the city because 2020 has been Halloween in itself. Let's just be real. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, it, it really has. I love Halloween, though. I really wanted to dress up. Yeah. I, I like Brittany, you're probably the one out of all of us that has dressed up every single year as something. What do you go as for Halloween? What did you dress up for? Uh, well, um, my costume cost me $50 U.S currency okay um so i'm wearing it for five years i have been snow white um i'll get a new one in 2023 and i, I this quarantine weight probably i can't fit it this year but next year oh baby i'm back yes ma'am so tell us about year. this costume tell us give us like give us some insight so i'm snow white i always have my hair you know long um you know snow white had a bob but i'm not with a bob so I usually have a red bow. Um, I typically do a red lip. It's off the shoulders. It's real cute. But... Bert, you dressed up. Is this Curious George? Who is this? Uh, Despicable Me. Oh, okay. I, you're, you're a minion. Okay, you're yeah, a minion. Yeah, I was a minion. A Brit. Now, with your costume, it's uh, Snow White. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the hair, you're going to do the hair golden? No, Snow White had black hair. Period. Oh, she had black hair. See, I don't, I don't yeah. keep up with them like that. So now, with your skin though, are you gonna? You have a white paint or something? No, I don't do white face. Um, and you know, during during the holidays, I respect people cultures. <laughs> I don't do black face. I don't do white face. I don't do Asian face or Indian face. Why do you even allow Bert to take you down this damn road? I want him Just, to know that I respect all understand. cultures, and I'm I'm gonna go as black. Brittany, but no black. Brim, tell us about your costume here. Who is this? Freddy Krueger? You live, but since you call Bert uh, the minion, your fat ass must be Gru. No! <laughs> <laughs> Brian, didn't you see me a picture of a Freddy in a Freddy Krueger mask? I'm not. <laughs> I'm not that. I ain't know. <laughs> Hey, I forgot I sent you that. <laughs> I'm wearing <laughs> fire up defense. Fire up defense. <laughs> fire up defense mode. Bitch, you cracking <laughs> He was thinking about it, just cracking. He was like. I thought you were trying to crack on my, uh, my back teeth. No, I I'm saying I'm going down the list. of the, I'm thinking about all the pictures y'all sent me. I'm like, <laughs> Brian, Brian is afraid me. <laughs> That was a defense mode, Twan. That was called fire. That's my fire that's defense mechanism. I'm sorry, Twan. I'm, I'm always ready to shoot one. It was all I'm good. Gonna... Tell us about... So, obviously, that was Freddy Cougar. I don't want to play with Brian anymore. Let's just go. <laughs> this is my costume. I was Mario. And I wanted to be Luigi this year. But I'm like, you know what? We've all been in the house. We've been celebrating Halloween since January. I'm good with just posting this picture of, of, of Mario from last year. So... Yeah, this is it. And happy Halloween to those of you that are still celebrating. 3509, do not come knocking on this door because we have no candy here and I don't like kids. Point blank period. So, happy Halloween though. Some kids need to fade you when you come out in the morning. Yes. Ooh. In the spirit of Halloween, I wanted to ask you guys, who do you guys think is scarier? And I'm only asking this because it's the daytime and if this was in the nighttime, I wouldn't even say this motherfucking name. But who was scarier, Mr. Sims from Tales from the Hood or Candyman himself? Bert, who would you pick? Man, I used to stand in the mirror and say Candyman with the lights off. I waited for him, but I'm, I'm a different type. I was a different type of jit. Move on to the question. Move Obviously. On. Well, Britt, who, who would you be more scared of, Britt? Who was more scary I'm going scared up of, you? Um, Both of them, but the C word? Mm -mm, I don't play with that. Ooh, you still mm -mm. scared. It's Mr. Mm, Sims for me. Now. Candyman creeped me out with the whole bees and all that. It was just so itchy to me. And then the white woman that he was after, it was just it was just a very weird love That's triangle right with now. bumblebees. I was scared of the dude from Tales from the from Tales from the Hood. But Brim, who who was more scarier to you growing up? Uh, well, honestly, y'all boys, I never seen no Candyman. I was too scared to watch that shit as a kid. Don't say it. Get, now we got only one more chance. But don't man, say it. It's not, don't say it. Say no more. Where he at? I scared of him a long time ago because my grandma took all of us in the bathroom one time and, and she threatened the shit out of Candyman. He never came out the mirror. 
We need so, that. We need grandmas need and mamas that. like that because back in the day, our mamas used to scare the fuck out of us with Halloween stuff. They used to scare us with the police. We need that fear. We need to figure out a way to install that fear back into... Well, no, not with the police. Never mind. Forget I said it. Forget I said it. <laughs> Forget I said it. I saw this earlier this week, and I want to know what you guys think about it. What is your favorite Soldier Boy interview when he called out Drake? It was a nice album. But he ain't had no big comeback. And look, how, and look how he yo, crossed, look how he crossed yo, over. Yo, Meek Mill ain't beef with Chris Brown and was finna box and with Floyd Mayweather. He, he, he beef with, with Drake, the biggest rapper in the world. <laughs> Jeez, nigga. Yeah, Drake. <laughs> Drake. Or when Soldier Boy was talking about the home invasion at his house. I hop out, I start shooting. Bow, 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 bow. Shot the nigga. Bow, shot his ass. Bow, 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 bow. All the niggas run out the door, they run out the door. This nigga on the flow. Feel me? Man, hands down, the home invasion story. Man. <laughs> the best. God. It's the home invasion for you, bro. It's the home invasion for Bert. Brim, what it is? <laughs> I'm sorry. That's, that's the one for me. Can we just watch it one more time? I hop out, I start shooting. Shot the nigga. Bow. Shot his ass. Bow, 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 bow. All the niggas run out the door. They run out the door. This nigga on the flow. Baby, that home invasion. I was like. <laughs> Y'all are so dumb. Well, listen, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. We do this every Saturday morning. We come together. These are my high school classmates, turnt family and friends. I don't think I can live without them. Just keeping it real. Listen, for exclusive content and things that we got going on through the week, you can stay connected with us. We're all over social media, so just uh, search you. for us. But in the meantime, Britt, let everybody know how they can get in contact with you. If you guys want to get in contact with me, just me, you can find me on Instagram <laughs> at Bites with... <laughs> you made me love At Bites with Bestie Britt. You can find me on Instagram, or you can find me on Facebook at The Dawn Sin. Then you better plug it in, but you better plug it in, Brim. I know you got a lot going on, my man. Let everybody know how they get in contact with you. Well, right now, Brim to the low on IG and soon to be, uh, it be like that podcast on IG as well. It be like that podcast, mm -hmm. and we'll talk more about that next week. Um, so guys, come back, and I want you guys to learn about the it be like that podcast. Full deep, no sleep, and all that. Uh, look out for that. But Bert, let everybody know how you can be reached. Oh. It's bird at law, man. I'm Absolutely. on all platforms. Well, there Let's you see. have it. And of course, I'm Twan the Dunn. You can follow me um, anywhere on social media at Twan the Dunn. Again, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. And we will be back live inside of the Dunn's Den next Saturday morning. Um, by that time, hopefully, we'll know who our president is. And Bert is giving everybody a fair warning that it is going down. Tomorrow is the last day to early vote in Florida. So I know we got a lot of Florida watchers. Mm -hmm. If you are not, if you have not voted yet, today and tomorrow are the most important days of your life. Because I tell you, Tuesday is going to be some crazy shit, and I don't want to be involved in it. That's why I voted early. Just do it. Get it over with sometime today or tomorrow. But like Bert, his shirt says, go vote. And of course, the realest to ever do it, he's got our back. It might not look like it, but Obama still ride with us. He is. All right, y'all boys. So we'll talk next week. But in the meantime, go vote.